Hey, part two of uh, Redis, but this time using Java uh, application to connect into my Redis. Uh, I've already talked about that in the first video. Uh, here's the second um, tutorial reference uh, online. Um, this one's a little interesting um, uh, about uh, Cassandra. Cassandra doesn't have any auto increments. Redis does. Also, Redis has a memcache like API, um, but has the advantage of atomic operation and the data saved so the server restarts will survive the data. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, the only disadvantage is that the Java client does not have consistent hashing yet. Okay, so here's the requirements for setting this up. You need to uh, use this JRedis um, uh, basically set up your, your Redis, which I've already done on my Windows environment. Um, you need the JRedis uh, Java client, which can be downloaded from here in your GitHub. And then there's your uh, actual Java application. So let me just jump into my Eclipse here. Okay, so I've shown you the Redis on this system on uh, my previous video. Um, and essentially, uh, obviously if you're new to um, Eclipse and all that, you need to add the uh, libraries. Uh, in my case, I'm just kind of lazy. I loaded everything that uh, was downloadable from the uh, J Redis. Um, just find it here, right here. Um, so this is what's downloaded. It's coming to release, and here's all your jar files. So I just quite lazily did download it or include everything into the uh, into into the uh, my uh, project within the clip. So again, you just come under your project create new project type is Java come under uh, right click properties and then you come under Java build path libraries add external jars and you just browse to wherever you want and just add those jar files manually. so that's what I did so now we can now uh, play with J Redis so looking at the code um, it's a very simple um, here's your uh, main I won't go into these uh, little getters and setters those, those are pretty obvious uh, everything's all default uh, to connect to host port um, initialize uh, in this case um, what they wanted to show off was the auto incrementing um, so that's why these four uh, statements are sent over um, so let's run them okay so we're gonna run this whole uh, Java app. So here's your true statements because they're conditional on the 1, 2, and 3, and 4 based upon this statement. Um, so essentially the point is is that uh, you can connect into into uh, Redis using this basic uh, connection, but looking at the, um, uh, the project, we just find it here, Redis in this GitHub um, for further um, analysis. Uh, the cool thing is, if you come under examples, uh, you'll find a boatload of uh, examples that are available that you can build um, under Java. So you have like quite a few um, of the uh, J Redis. Uh, examples and different uh, usage of, of, of Redis. So, so in essence that's the basics to get you connected um, and that's within obviously here in Java. Uh, for me where do I go from here? I implement the, these two uh, examples I've shown you uh, using again Redis my, my uh, data store as my back end for all my tech data as it comes in. Uh, I'm going to plug in an implementation of the C Sharp one I showed in the first video into my uh, open tr uh, source uh, training platform in C Sharp, as well as I have my uh, market uh, simulator, which I've talked about, the Web Curve Simulator, which is Java. So basically, is um, I can have my simulator, my Exchange Simulator, uh, randomly generate uh, activity as if it's a basically an exchange. Uh, have trading agents. I've shown how to how to use it. Um, 
and uh, have it spit out data and all that data will get inserted using this methodology into Redis and then my other end uh, the trading platform will then um, uh, connect into Redis and uh, read in the data which are essentially all ticks and activity on the buys and sells of, of those um, particular stocks and then from there I can obviously test uh, my strategies uh, in a real live uh, environment uh, you know from a stress perspective with the simulator also includes an order book market maker um, opportunities so there's some really big movement here um, using all these methodologies that I'm showing uh, instead of using the messaging and queuing. Um, so it's quite important that um, Redis is now becoming my central, I guess call it repository and data store for all my ticks. And um, uh, not only that, but I've shown you to do Redis as well, um, which will integrate um, with with our analytics as well using the do Redis R package so you can do a search on that I've got three videos on that in the YouTube at Quant Labs uh, as well so that's end to end on where on how why I'm using Redis uh, hopefully this will help you out